Hey everybody, Hammy here. And instead of a usual recipe video, I'm gonna review some new items, hopefully, uh, going forward. Uh, anything that's new, anything that's noteworthy or newsworthy. Uh, kinda like these new Marushan Ramen Gold. We got soy sauce flavor and spicy miso. Now, I love ramen and I like the cheap ramen, I like the good ramen. Um, usually when I make ramen at home, I buy the frozen noodles because they're a little bit thicker. Um, that you can get in the most Asian markets and sometimes in your local grocery store. Um, these are these are about four times more expensive than regular ramen. I got these for about two bucks and change each. I think it was like two nineteen when I uh, when I bought these. Um, and that opposed to like how much do you pay for a regular packet of ramen? Like what, twenty cents, thirty cents, fifty cents? So, uh, I don't know if it's going to be worth the price because, I mean, they're so expensive and the cool thing about ramen is that it's cheap. And then you can take it home and you can kind of make it fancy by adding stuff to it. Kind of like they do in the, in the picture right here. So we got soy sauce, we got spicy miso. Now the flavors sound pretty fancy. There's nothing like that um, as far as regular ramen flavors are concerned. Uh, let me open it up. See what it looks like. Not get ramen noodles all over my desk. So, got a disc of noodles. They look about as thick as regular ramen, which is kind of cool. I was afraid they'd be too thin. And then, instead of a powder sauce packet, you've got like a like a liquid. So maybe the stock will taste better. Um. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook both of these. And I'm gonna kind of gussy them up because I refuse to eat plain ramen. I'm gonna put a chicken cutlet and a soft boiled egg and maybe some kind of vegetable in it. So, uh, but I'm not gonna adulterate the broth and I'm not gonna do anything to the noodles to kind of keep everything nice and, and, uh, and honest because I refuse to eat a bowl of plain ramen unless I'm like super hungry. Uh, I like, I like gussing it up. Um, and I'm gonna go do that right now and I'll be right back. One last thing I forgot to mention. That is some sexy packaging, I think. Like, they're not kidding when they say gold. Like, it's very, uh, how to say this? It's very hashtag aesthetic. Uh, I just think it's really pretty packaging. I've never seen ramen look that good on any other ramen packet. So, I'm gonna give that another uh, tick in the, in the, in the wind column. So, I'm, I've got some water boiling. Dinner's almost ready. Uh, let's see how this tastes. All right, I got my two bowls right here. I'm gonna eat them, and then I'm gonna come back and uh, review it. All right, we're right back. All right, so I just finished my bowl, uh, and I am pleasantly surprised. I did not want to like them because they are pricier, and even though the packaging is very sexy, uh, who cares? You know, that's not worth the, you know, extra, you know, I think probably it's the difference is like a, a dollar more, a dollar to a dollar fifty more, uh, when compared to regular old ramen. Uh, instead of powder for the broth, the broths came in the, this little packet, this little liquid base for both the soy sauce and the spicy miso flavor. It had a little, and both of them had a little bit of oil in them, which gave them that sort of unctuous fattiness that really good ramen has. I did not eat both bowls, I am actually currently dieting. Uh, I did try both broths, and both broths were nothing short of amazing in my opinion. The spicy miso one had that same kind of cloudiness that miso soup has, so I don't think they faked it. I think there's real miso in there. Um, and the soy sauce broth, which was one of the tastiest broths I ever had, had a very clean finish. Uh, it'd be cool if Marushan actually sold that base in bottles because I would add it to everything. I loved it, one of the best instant ramen broths I've ever had. Um, now, I, I came in kind of skeptical when it came to uh, Martian Gold because a lot of times with more upscale offerings, uh, the noodles in ramen, for some reason, when you spend more money on ramen, they're flimsy. You get a really thin noodle, uh, almost like vermicelli or angel hair, which is gross. I don't have any time for a thin noodle, especially when it comes to ramen. Um, but this one was nice and thick, and it stood up to the broths, both the spicy miso and the soy sauce. Um, the noodles weren't thick though, 
uh, they weren't any better or worse than the standard ramen. In fact, I'm probably I'm pretty sure that it's the same noodle. Uh, they just pressed it into a round instead of a brick. Uh, so let's go to the pros. Uh, the pros are it's just as easy to make as regular ramen. Uh, both of the broth flavors are phenomenal. And the noodles stand up to the soup unlike other fancy ramens. Uh, the cons, they're a little pricier. I got mine for about two bucks and change, which is way pricier than for, uh, for you know, one pack of ramen. Uh, they're not available everywhere. I had to go to like a few different stores to find it. Um, the website actually has uh, uh, a store locator so you don't have to, you know, jump around like I did. And I'm fairly positive that the noodles in this are the exact same. I think you're paying for the fancy broth. You're not paying for the noodles. Final verdict. All right, so I'm definitely going to go back to this, um, especially the soy sauce flavor. I love it. Um, the brats in both of these are better than any instant ramen I've ever had, and they're well worth the uh, extra investment. Even you know, it's still not too pricey. Two bucks for for ramen isn't too bad. Um, still, I wish I could buy them in bulk because maybe I'd be able to save a few dimes here and there. Any case, I'm giving Marushan Gold a four out of five, and it is recommended. Uh, go out and try it. Tell me what you think. Maybe I was too generous with my score. Maybe I was unfair. I would be happy to hear your thoughts. This is the first of many food reviews that I want to do. If there's something out there on the market that you want me to make a deep dive on, let let you know. Uh, let me know what you want me to eat in the comments. Um, maybe I'll eat on camera next time. I did not want to eat on camera this time because it's it's weird and it's gross. Um, but I don't know. Maybe you guys want to see that. Uh, I don't show my face a lot in these videos, so maybe you guys want to see that. I don't know. Um, anyway, it, name some things that you'd like me to try, and I'll run down to the store and make that happen for you. Um, before I say goodbye. Uh, how about smashing that like button and the subscribe button? There's plenty of cool stuff on the way, including an Undertale recipe, uh, Digimon, Castlevania, and uh, tons more Pokemon curry recipes. I'm going to really do a deep dive on that. Um, anyway, see you guys next time. Bye.